All right, let's jump into the content side, right? So let me put away the nav bar and we're going to focus on, uh, on the content page. Right now we have everything here. So if you had a bunch of repeating groups, whatever it is, everybody would have to work on this page. I don't want that. I want us to increase the quality of life of our developer. I want to increase the separation of concern, use this idea of components. Uh, all right, to do that, we're going to have to make this reusables and if you can just select in here and say make convert into a reusable so let's call it dashboard and bubble is already going to bring everything to us that the whole group that we had here so you know you have the text uh, the group with the, the colors the um, with the whole height but here we go the the width and the height is the same that we had there so it's a handy if you're building something there you can just convert it and bring it here so if you have an existing app this is a simple way to to bring it over perfect so we have this app here so it's a dashboard now we need to go back to the, our app so right currently our app lives in the index and we need to put that uh, uh, that reusable here so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna remove this color because I'm gonna remove let's see imagine if you have a bunch of children there you delete it all and we're gonna go here and find this reusable dashboard and we add it in there make sure that is at uh, zero zero it will bring its own uh, its own height here it's visible on page load so this is what we want yes and the visibility we're going to control it here from the the groups okay so can i go in there go back to our app let me turn off the this part we have the app there and it shows perfectly right like nothing changed but it's a reusable so now any changes that i make here in the in the dashboard let me I'll just give it some color now so I can see the back of it and we can design this page let's get a dashboard here from stats there you go that sounds good we take one with a lot copy and copy and then we paste view there you go you got a dashboard and now Our dashboard is going to show here all right but hmm our dashboard see it scrolls all the way to the to the bottom there is a, there's a lot of scrolling time so maybe if you click on this one here you're not going to see that that item so this is a nice little thing we can do is that let's say that our dashboard is just this let me just add some numbers here 10 So I have a couple of numbers in there and what we can do is just add a group from here all the way to the bottom so <clears throat> I had decided for 2000 in the um, my original this might be way too much uh, but we can add here this thing we say collapse and hidden add collapsed and now Whenever I'm in this page, I'm trying to scroll and it won't scroll because that thing collapsed it all. And I didn't have to fill it with uh, too much, it's just in one, uh, one reusable that I control that part, right? So if I have one reusable that is very tall and another one that's very short, uh, the, the key part here is this you know, content section, section stays the same height maybe you know 2000 is already too big you know if you think of all the different uh, uh, little components you can be put it in there but uh, might be too big just make it um, you know you control uh, well even though each one of the groups here are going to have the same size inside of the reusable itself you control that um, you're going to control that visibility here you make a, a group that collapses and this is going to shrink the whole size of the page uh, and you can see here that you know you can scroll all the way down but as soon as you go back to it it finds you back at the the right level 